getting started with fine-grained access control for Amazon DynamoDB. Amazon DynamoDB is a fast, fully managed NoSQL database service that makes it simple and cost-effective to store and retrieve any amount of data and serve any level of request traffic. With DynamoDB's fine-grained access control feature, you can simplify your application's user request authorization. Fine-grained access control allows you to rely on the database engine itself, not application logic, to enforce access control to particular database items, to particular attributes, or both. In this video, we will explain the benefits of fine-grained access control for DynamoDB. We'll present an overview of the system and then demonstrate how to set it up. Here's a diagram of how access control works in a mobile application which stores its data in DynamoDB but was implemented without fine-grained access control. Clients send data requests to a middle-tier proxy service, typically implemented in Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances. Elastic load balancers sit in front of these instances to ensure high availability. The middle tier manages access control for all client requests. Developing this proxy adds to the burden both of building a new application and of maintaining and scaling it. Now here's how access control works in a similar application built using fine-grained access control. After being authenticated by an identity provider, each client makes requests directly of DynamoDB, and fine-grained policies govern whether each request is allowed or denied. Fine-grained access control is designed to allow you to keep users' data secure with significantly less development overhead, management overhead, and cost. Fine-grained access control for DynamoDB is integrated with AWS Identity and Access Management. Also called IAM, it is a technology that allows customers to securely control access to AWS services and resources for their users. IAM roles specify sets of permissions for authenticated users. Fine-grained access control works by allowing your applications to assume IAM roles that specify access to particular DynamoDB items and attributes, or even to entire tables. Fine-grained access control is ideal for use in mobile applications that use social identity providers. Web Identity Federation allows users to authenticate with public identity providers such as Login with Amazon, Facebook, or Google. The combination of Web Identity Federation and fine-grained access control can mean there is no longer a need for proxy servers. Use of Web Identity Federation is not required to benefit from fine-grained access control. Application authors may also implement fine-grained access control policies using IAM users and groups. Fine-grained access control allows you to define access permissions for particular end users against particular items, that is, rows, of DynamoDB databases. You can also define permissions for users against particular attributes, that is, fields across all items. These permissions specify which API actions the authorized users can perform against the data. So, for example, it is easy to implement read-write and read-only access. You could even choose to permit only specific actions. Consider this example application architecture, built on Web Identity Federation and fine-grained access control. Each user logs in and is authenticated by the selected identity provider. Next, the application contacts the AWS Security Token Service, STS, and requests credentials via Web Identity Federation. STS grants temporary security credentials that are tied to a particular AWS Identity and Access Management role. For this application, we have defined an IAM role that allows access only to the items and attributes that authenticated users require, and only the API actions they require. Now that the user is authenticated and authorized, each subsequent DynamoDB request is associated with the temporary security credentials associated with the IAM role. The DynamoDB service will accept or reject each request based on the permissions inherited from that role. Thus, there is no need for the application's developers to maintain a proxy layer. Here are the steps for employing Web Identity Federation and fine-grained access control in an application. First, if you have not already done so, register your application with an identity provider. 
The provider will give you a unique application identifier string. Next, define an access policy for your users. Determine what API actions applications should perform on their behalf and on what database items. Then use the DynamoDB policy wizard to create a policy string that encapsulates that policy. This policy will incorporate your application identifier string. Now use the IM console to create a role that utilizes this policy. Finally, incorporate code into your application that uses these temporary security credentials from STS to make signed calls to the DynamoDB API. Let's see a demonstration of these steps. On the DynamoDB console, we click Access Control. Then we select our desired identity provider. We click the API actions that this role should permit. Finally, we select the database attributes to which this role should have access. We type the name of each attribute and click Add. And we repeat these steps for each desired attribute. The next screen shows us the generated policy. Clicking the link opens the I am role console in a new tab. Once there, we click to create a new role. This role will be for web identity provider access. We choose the correct identity provider and paste in our assigned application ID. In the resulting role trust policy document, we can confirm that our application ID was entered correctly. Now we select custom policy. Enter a name, and paste in our fine-grained policy from the other tab. Finally, we click to create the role, and it's done. Let's view the role's summary to extract its identifier. To map DynamoDB requests to the role, supply the role ARN to the API. This concludes our video. We have seen that fine-grained access control allows application developers to specify policies for access to tables, items, and attributes then rely on DynamoDB itself to enforce them. Fine-grained access control thus reduces the amount of work for developing and maintaining an application's authentication and access control infrastructure. With social login provided through Web Identity Federation, application developers can avoid the need to build and run separate systems for user login and access control, thus saving developer labor and infrastructure cost.